and to save time I'm going to go ahead and kind of turn this into a template in its own right for our functions files. So let's go ahead and save this and then save as. So save it and then save as. Um, and we're going to call this template. And change the name and save. And then save as. And we'll call this one sandbox. So save and uh, Assuming you're in Dreamweaver like me, since we saved as, it should have opened or kept our previous documents open. So the pre, we do not need at the moment, so let's go ahead and close that. Let's start with building our template. So let's get ahead and start defining some functions. And if you're not familiar with functions, what functions are, uh, I'd say in layman's terms, it's the ability for us to write a quick block of code that we might use over and over um, and we're allowed to pass certain parameters or values to this function in order to make it work um, differently each time um, without having to create similar large chunks of PHP over and over and over to do something that is the same with just, just different values. Uh, and maybe that doesn't make sense now, it should in a minute here. So let's go through the syntax of defining a function really quick. First part is um, stating function and space, and then we're going to give it the function name, which there are some predefined functions in PHP, so we're limited on some of the uh, names. We don't want to use a predefined function. We will get an error. And sadly, uh, header is one of the predefined functions, so we will not be calling the header function header if that makes sense we're gonna just call it head and the proper syntax for a function name is the name and then a set of parentheses and that set of parentheses is going to be where we can pass values if needed if not it's just gonna be empty but they need to be there and that's what specifies that it's a function when we run it later and then Similar to how CSS works when you're making a class or a rule, that is, we're going to have some curly brackets here. So our function will be any code that we put in between these curly brackets. So what do we need in here right now? We need to spit out currently what is in our header div. We'll keep the div itself um, so that we can still see our structure here. But let's take out this code here and cut it. And that's important because we're going to paste it later. And we're going to run what's called an echo command. And what that will do is echo or print or in layman's terms, spit out whatever we put in these uh, quotes here. So we can put HTML in here and it will spit HTML out on the page. Um, just the same as us writing it in the index file like we did originally. So let's go ahead and paste that here. And we'll go ahead and save. So we've created our first function. Congratulations. Let's go back to our index file and let's run that function. So the first thing we need to do is create some PHP block here. And we're going to do it in line here because it's just going to be a one-liner. And to run a function, all you need to do is type out the function name and any parameters that may go with the function. So our function is head, and we don't have any parameters, so that stays empty there. And we close the line with a semicolon. And like I said, it's important that these parentheses stay here. Otherwise, PHP doesn't realize that head is a function. Let's go ahead and save. Now if we try to run this right now, we will get an error. And let's go ahead and show that error. So I'm going to save and upload. And let's refresh the page. 
there you go. Not only did we get an error, but common in PHP, the, the script will stop running and the rest of the page underneath where the error occurred will not even run or appear. Um, and what's saying here is that we have not defined the function, which is incorrect because we did. Here in our template file here, we did define it. However, this index.php file has absolutely no idea that that um, function exists because we haven't told it it has. So what we need to do, and what we probably should have done first, but I wanted to do it this way just to show you some errors, is let's make a block here at the top. And this is where we're going to include our configuration file. So we want the config directory and our config.php. So now let's save and upload. Um, we are still going to get an error. In fact, we're going to get two errors. So let's refresh. So we still do not have this function defined. Um, even though we've included the configuration file, for some reason this is not defined. To answer that question why, we've not uploaded these files. It's a simple mistake, but if you don't catch it and don't understand the error messages, it could be a headache that uh, could take you an hour to figure out and then you you know, it can be pretty frustrated with yourself when you figure out how easy it was to solve. So, let's go ahead and just select both our config and functions folder since none of these have been uploaded yet and go ahead and put them to the server. And voila. So you'll note that our header tag here, our heading tag, is intact. And that is because we're running our head uh, function here, which in turn echoes out the h2 tag within our header div. So I'm going to go ahead and name this, uh, label this here. All right, and we're going to create our second function. So and that is going to be our footer. So we We tell uh, PHP that we're going to start a function, start to define a function, and it's going to be called footer, which, contrary to the term header, footer is not a predefined um, function in PHP. So we'll do our curly brackets, and we're pretty much going to do the same thing here, since our footer here is just some text. So let's go ahead and ahead and copy our paragraph here, or cut it, sorry, and come over to our template file, and we'll run our echo command, and close the line, we'll save it and upload it, and I'll come back to our index, and we can run our um, footer function here. So to save time, let's just go ahead and copy this, and paste it. And before I change this to footer, I want to show you something else. And let's save and upload. Is that as long as there's no conflicting uh, items, you can run a function more than once on a page. So you're seeing that now instead of pulling our footer information, it's pulling the header information again. And that's because we didn't change this. So let's change this to footer. Save and upload the page and there is our footer. Next on the template is going to be our side navigation. So to save time I'm going to copy that block and change the name. Um, and the function name is going to be side side nav. I'll go ahead and remove this here for the moment. 
save it. Um, now, as you might guess, we will need an echo statement here. And we're going to learn a few things here. Um, first, let's do our echo. And in this case, I'm going to ha go ahead and give us some space here between these um, quotation marks here, these single quotes. And similar to how these curly brackets represent what's inside of the function, we'll use these to represent what's inside of the echo statement. And most of the time you don't have to worry about the white space and such. So we can, we can toss any HTML or anything we want in here um, that's approved in an echo statement. Uh, as long as it's between the starting quote and this ending quote. Um, so let's go over here to index and let's go ahead and we're going to cut out our unordered list. We're going to come over to template and we're going to go ahead and paste that here. Let's save it and upload. Um, we're going to get into, we're going to open up this function a little bit later uh, and do some some more extensive work on it. But for now, we're just working on building the template and getting that ready to go. So let's go ahead and knock this down to one line. And let's go ahead and say, copy here and paste. And we'll call this side nav. And what I do want to do, because I'm anticipating this in the future, we're going to be running some database uh, queries here. So we're going to need to send or what's called pass the variable to the function. The variable I'm talking about is our config or our connection script, which is stored in the db dbc variable. I'm going to go ahead and put it in here as a um, parameter for our function. So on this end, we need to do the same thing. We need to send the value of the dbc variable to this function so that we can utilize the value of that variable within the function. That really does it for the template file at the moment. So let's go over there, make sure it's saved and uploaded. And we'll upload the index. Now we're going to jump into our sandbox document. 